Hey what's up guys Tanmay here for simple snippets and I'm back with another video tutorial on quantitative aptitude so in this video tutorial we'll see a trick to calculate the angle between the hour and minute hand of a clock so there's a simple formula and we don't have to do a lot of paperwork or guessing to get the angle between the hour hand and minute hand so let's see how the trick goes okay so as you can see on the screen we have a question wherein we have to calculate the angle between the minute hand and hour hand when the time is at 3 o'clock 4:30 7:55 and 2:45 now we don't need to see whether it's in the the night or day time that is we don't have to see it is am or pm because the angle is going to be the same so the direct formula i'll just write it down is given as follows theta which is the angle is mod of 11 upon 2 minutes minus 30 into hours so this is the direct formula to get the answer so at 3 o'clock let me just draw a basic clock so at 3 o'clock we you know the hour hand is pointing 3 and the minute hand would be at 12 so just by looking at it we actually know that it is 90 degree but in other cases the angle would differ so usually we calculate the angle by taking each block which corresponds to 30 degree so this will equal to 90 degree and then there is a lot of calculation when there is the timing changes so this was a very simple example so let's see if the formula applies to this one so when the time is 3 o'clock we know the minutes are zero as you can see so theta is equal to 11 upon 2 into 0 minus and the r and is at 3 which would give us mod of 0 minus 90 which would ultimately give us 90 so we got the answer as 90 degree so now let's see the second question for the second question we have theta is equal to 11 upon 2 into the minutes are 30 so i have to write 30 over here minus 30 into the r and is at 4 so 30 into 4 so this would be 11 into 15 minus 120 and we have to take a mod of this so that would be 165 minus 120 and that would ultimately give us 45 degree let's see for the third question here the r and is at 7 and minutes are 55 so putting these values in the formula we get 11 upon 2 into 55 Minus thirteen to seven should give us three zero two point five minus twenty two one zero. So that would be ninety two point five degree. And for the last question, we have the hour hands at two and the minute hand at forty five. So putting that values in the formula, we have eleven upon two into forty five minus thirty into two. So this would give us two forty seven point five minus sixty, which would give us the answer of one eighty seven point five. Okay so that's it for this trick I hope you understood the formula and how to get the answer when you have been given a particular time so getting the angle is pretty easy by putting the values in the formula if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel peace